designing the new box here, Win ISD. Okay, so they're different, two different frequencies um, that I've been playing around with. Um, one being tuned at 33 and one 34 hertz. Just looking at the different curves, it, it peaks at um, 36.8. So, something different. You know, I haven't used any of these programs, so I hope I'm doing that right. So, yeah, we'll come back to the box. Okay, so the box is, it's a 320 litre box and I'm taking out uh, 30 litres for bracing 45 degree angles, which I'm going to be doing a lot of, and um, woofer displacement. So I've taken out a cubic foot for that. Um, so we're left with 290 litre box, roughly, which is this. Now it's only one, uh, it's just a single 18 mil MDF, which is the thickest I can get my hands on. Um, there's the port, which is uh, 4 inches high, and then uh, across is 37 inches um, and it's got a, just that in the middle just to keep it strong obviously um, then in now coming back to there is at 33 Hertz uh, uh, if, if it's 34 Hertz it'll only be a little bit back here so that's the rough thing now obviously there'd be a bit of bracing in there but what I'm thinking of mainly doing to keep it strong is resin fiberglass on the inside so they're not using too thick a MDF because it's you know what I mean and um, instead fiberglassing and resining the inside of it and uh, also as I said I'll be doing 45s and like all angles try and keep it strong and good airflow okay so there's the top added and the subs cut out it's 10 centimeters uh, this way in between them and 5 that way the uh, finished idea um, in MDF color yeah it's 10.175 cubes um, and then the port though <laughs> equals 2.2 cubes so doing it that big it comes down to 8 cubes now 8 cubes is pretty much the same size as the one I got now it's really no difference um, and as I said that's going full width full depth that I can because the battery racks here and um, as far as height goes I mean I could go about another 2 centimeters maybe but obviously going bigger means bigger ports and things like that so I mean this is still rough I mean it's not rough as far as that's to the millimeter this design but it's still a rough idea of what, what I'm going to do. I mean, as I said, I could uh, make it slightly bigger and tune it to 34, so it brings the port back and whatever. Um, now, the thing that I want to show you is underneath is it's lifted. So the axle box is not sitting on the bottom of the car. Now, from the front, it's flat there. So from the front, it looks like that. But underneath, it's like this. So the box slides into the car, into the boot, right? This is at the front. So this is the back, the battery rack's here, upside down obviously, but it's here. And underneath here is where the amps are. So they're mounted on separate bits of MDF that are staying in the car. And obviously the MDF is our separate bits. Okay, and then the box can slide out. The amps stay in place, or the box just slide straight back over them. Um, I'll probably have some fans mounted on the axle box, or on this on one side, that'll blow through. As you can see like that, it'll blow through. So if I was to mount two two or three fans here that blew through just to cool the amps down, um, and then I just have a plug for them or something so I can uh, take the box out um, if I'm going to do anything to it. And that's that. So that's the idea. I like the idea that ho that hides the amps. And then also, obviously, the batteries are hidden. So you won't see there'll be a clean install. You won't see anything by the box and the subs. But um, we're only eight cubes and we're tuned to 33 or 34 hertz, it doesn't matter, I can change the port easily and um, uh, that's how my frequency response is going to be just there. Anyway, tell me what you think, um, some of the yeah, more experienced subscribers, more experienced than me obviously, um, tell me what you think and uh, well, I mean everyone can comment on the design and the idea of the amps underneath but um, anyone who's ever used this before maybe if you want to help us out there because I uh, haven't used that much. Anyway, so there's uh, the rough idea. Big square box, nice giant ports out the front, and uh, amps underneath.